Hi, I'm Jim, a Solutions and Network Specialist with Braden Business Systems. Mac computers are great. They can be excellent for producing media content, graphic design, and much more. But when it comes to business applications, they can be a bit more challenging. They lack the ability to interface and interact with most current business applications and resources. Because of this, the way that a Mac shares folders is not easily compatible with Windows-based systems. Being aware that there are difficulties in sharing folders and keeping that share active is a must. If the share is successfully set up today, after an update to OS, that share may no longer work. This can lead to a cycle of expensive workflow repairs. Being mindful of this, we can begin to discuss the basics in getting a Konica Minolta multifunctional printer to scan to a folder on your Mac. Before we get started, there are a few things you will need to know. One, the machine's IP address. If you do not know how to get the IP address from your machine, contact Braden Service for instructions on how to get that for your model. For example, we will use 10.250.56.37. Two, the administrator name and password for the Mac computer. This will be necessary to change some of the system settings and to adjust permissions. Note, you cannot use a fingerprint or a pin code. Three, the folder name that you are going to want to scan to. Usually this will be a folder on the desktop. And four, who will have access to this folder? If you are one of several users of the Mac, you'll want to decide who will have permission to access these documents. And five, note, if you ever change your password on your Mac, you will need to also update the password in the machine's address book. Step one, preparing the Mac for scanning. If you do not already have a folder you want to scan to, create one on your desktop of your computer. In this example, we will use scans as the folder name. Next, open system settings, then open general. Click on Sharing. Turn File Sharing on and then click the information icon. It will be an I with a circle around it. Note the IP address for the Mac at the top. It will appear as SMB colon forward slash forward slash XXX. An example, 10-250-56-193. Click the plus sign under the shared folders. Browse to the folder that you want the scan jobs to go to. This will be the predetermined folder or the one that you just created. Then click Open. Make sure that your user account is set for read and write. If you're giving all the users of the computer access to this folder, make sure that these accounts are selected as well. Click Options and select your account and if you're giving all users of this computer access to this folder, make sure that those accounts are selected as well. Then click Done. At the bottom of the sharing screen, you will see local host name. You'll want to write that name down to be used later when setting up the button on the MFP. Example, gems-macbook-pro.local. When finished, close the system settings window. Step two, setting up your button on the multifunctional printer. Open a web browser and enter the multifunction printer's IP address. For this example, 10.250.56.37. This will open the Konica Minolta machine web page. If you see a page that asks if you want to log in as public or as administrator, select public. Once you are logged in to the public account, you will see a selection for store address. Click store address. Click address book. Click the new registration button. In the search from function drop down, select SMB. In the name box, enter the name of the button you want to display on the MFP. For example, you might want to call it Scans or use your name. Under the Index section, you will see a drop-down box that has ABC in it. Select the drop-down button and select the correct value for the name of the button you created. Example, if you called your button Scans, you would select PQRS and then check the Favorite box. Under the Destination Information section, click the checkbox for Please Check Enter Hostname. In the box under that checkbox, you will enter the local hostname that you wrote down earlier. For this example, I would enter gems-macbook-pro and remove the .local part. 
In the file path box, you will enter the name of the folder that the scans will be going to that you created earlier. In this case, we will use the folder we created earlier called scans. In the user ID box, enter the Mac login name and then check the password is changed box and enter the Mac password. Once done, click the OK button on the bottom right of the page. You should now be able to scan from the Konica Minolta machine. Go to the machine, click the scan button, select the address button you created, put an original in the feeder and hit the start button. If there are no errors, check the destination folder on your Mac. Step three, uh-oh, it doesn't work. If not, then the Mac may not be able to pass the SMB scan job using the computer name. Let's try using the Mac computer IP address instead. Earlier, you noted the IP address of the Mac. It was that number that looked something like this, SMB colon forward slash forward slash 10.250.56.193 that we found in the file sharing part of these instructions. Open a web browser and enter the MFP's IP address. This will open the Konica Minolta machine's web page. If you see a page that asks if you want to log in as public or an administrator, select public. Once you are logged in to the public account, you will see a selection for store address. Click store address. Click address book. Depending on your model, search for the address button you just created or select the drop down option and select SMB and then press go. Select the scan entry that you created, click on it, and then select the edit button. Uncheck the host address box. Enter the IP address of your Mac. You will only enter the numeric part of the number leaving off the SMB part. In this example case, it would look like 10.250.56.193 instead of the SMB colon forward slash forward slash 10.250.56.193. Click the OK button on the lower right of the page and go to the machine and test the scan again. If it works, and it should, you will need to either lock the computer's IP address down or know how to periodically check the IP address and adjust the IP address in the address book on the machine. Locking your Mac's IP address will allow the machine to be able to reach the Mac after the Mac is shut off, there is a power outage, or if the Mac travels with you. Locking the IP address down will only lock the address for the current network you are on with the Konica Minolta machine. Open your system settings, click on Wi-Fi. You will see the network you are on listed there. Click on the details box. Click on TCP IP. Configure IPv4 will show that it is using DHCP. Click on the up down arrows and select manually. The IP address will now show 0.0.0 .0 and you will type over that address and enter the address of the Mac you had earlier. In this example, the case would be 10.250.56.193. Then click OK and then test the scanning to make sure the scanning still works. You can now close the system settings window and the web browser. You are all set to go. We hope this tutorial video was helpful. However, if you are still having trouble getting your Konica Minolta multifunctional printer to scan to a folder on your Mac, please reach out to the Braden team. Our contact information is on the screen here. Thanks for watching.